Welcome to this video attempting to show how students can show their work in WebAssign. On some questions, you may want to enable the ability for students to submit their shown work for you to evaluate. It's possible through this WebAssign interface to take a problem that's given to you by the publisher and turn on the Show My Work feature for any question or a whole set of questions if you so desire. Let's take a look at how the student would interact with such a problem. The student would have the ability to show their work and complete their submission using the basic tools that are certainly available every time they enter into WebAssign for answering questions. As they go about answering their question, they could simply provide the answer. In this case, we'll go with x over the quantity of x minus 6. Now, we may want the student to be able to show their work, and so we give them the optional or required portion of the screen that re gives them the access necessary within WebAssign for their specific question and under their account to show their work. If they show their work, they'll have the ability to use a rich text editing capability as well as a mathematical set of symbols and tools that will help them create a high level of fidelity in their shown work. So let's take a look at how that would look. Students can click on the portion of the screen where Show My Work is possible to enter. As they click on the tools that are available to them, they could use just the keyboard itself for entering such problems. They could start out by creating a fraction for them to repeat the initial question as it was given to them, in this case 6 over x. As I continue down these quantities and trying to finish it, we've got 1 minus the uh, fraction 36 over x squared. And so they can continue to enter in with a great deal of fidelity these symbols and equations and equivalencies as they go through the problem solving. So that problem would allow for them to certainly finish with a brief amount of submission where we would want something paying me a bit more than just the answer. The other possibility for them to carry this out is through the uploading of a file if students wish to use pencil and paper and take a picture of it with their cell phone. As they were able to take a, such a picture, they'd have an image, an image file such as this, that they can attach to the actual problem. This will be associated with their user account as well as their problem specific to the one that they uploaded it to. Another option for students to take advantage of is if you wanted to have them show their work in a greater level of detail, they could have uploaded a video of themselves solving the problem. Denominator, I'm going to go with a common denominator. So when solving the problem, they can use the share capability of video sharing tools like YouTube to copy a link and place that inside their solution for you to watch, playback, and evaluate. When the student is ready to submit, they have the ability to go down to their problem, choose that submit answer. They will get the immediate feedback of the graded portion, leaving you to go through the process of evaluating the shown work for the assigned credit you wish to give. Notice the student gets some immediate feedback if you so desire to turn that on. From the instructor standpoint, this shown work can be viewed under your own WebAssign account. If we switch over to the instructor view, I've already made it available for us to look at the listing. And in order to do this, we can see the response and the shown work that students might provide. But where does this come from? Inside of WebAssign, under each assignment that you've chosen to turn on the Show My Work feature, you'll have the ability within those assignments, in this case we're using this particular assignment, you'll have the ability to go in and choose the scores view to drill into the specifics of that particular assignment and actually grade the work submitted by your students. When a Show My Work option has been enabled on just one question in the assignment, you'll have this option enabled inside the scores view of the assignment where you can grade the answers for one or all students. If we click on the Grade Answers link, you'll be able to grade specific questions as well as whether or not you want to hide the students for the sake of anonymity or you want to actually see their names, you can certainly divulge that as you go through each and every graded activity. Once you're inside the grade answers capability of WebAssign for that particular assignment, you can locate students. We're going to go to the student that I was pretending to be for just a brief moment and we're going to use that account to see what they've submitted. As you can see on the screen, We've got an exact replica of the student's work 
at the great a dancer that they've been given credit for, but now we have the option to give them the appropriate credit. And if we so desire, we can turn off the automatic assignment of points and leave it at zero for us to subjectively assign. With the ability for you to evaluate the files that are attached or the video links that are provided from your students, you have such an option to go through now. Highlighting the link, you can right click and go to such a website. It'll open up, allowing you to watch the student's video problem solving activities so that you can offer commentary back to the student as to what you think were correct or incorrect in their problem solving skills. If you wish to just look at the static nature of their submission, paper and pencil image, then of course you can open that up to review it and evaluate it, determining what steps were appropriate along the way for you to then choose to grade and subjectively give back the appropriate credit. In this you have an option to add your own mathematical fidelity you too could upload files that you wish to return to the student and you too could also add videos if you wish to add that capability to your response. In all you can choose how many points you wish to assign to the student. We're going to give them an extra point. So the ability to give points, credits, all of which will be once saved immediately available for students to take advantage of viewing. Inside this problem solving window the student might be working but on the next review of this problem through refreshing of the browser or the next time they log in, we're going to force this through. They'll be able to see the appropriate grade that you've given. In this case you chose to give an extra point or so to the problem. The time and stamp date, uh, date at which it was stamped graded, and that feedback is now available for the student. At any time you can go back and revise such feedback in your instructor mode. So how do we go about making such an option available inside of WebAssign? Turns out any assignment, if you so desire to edit it, will allow you the option to turn on the Show My Work feature for an entire assignment, or you could choose to turn it on for just a per question basis. What you may want to do is enable your assignment settings editing capabilities so that you can see an option that allows you to choose any of these options, bonus, submissions allowed, learning tools and numerical tolerances and under that one that's located as points you have the ability to change the way each question is enabled to either require shown work by the student, optionally show work by the student, or to not even turn that feature on so students wouldn't be given the chance. These are the different options you have on a per question basis. So you can change it to optional, click OK, and now the student has the option to send you some additional work or they could have the default setting of the assignment, which you would choose for all the questions in the assignment, hence the name default. Under the default settings, that originates under the global settings for the assignment. You can choose to turn that on in the second section of the settings known as submissions and work. If you want the students to optionally show work by default, you can choose such an option. If you want to disable that capability, or if you want to force students to show work for every single question, that certainly is one of the selection choices you have when choosing the assignment settings. That's it. You've got all you need now to have students show their work inside of WebAssign.